Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome to PatternLab.London. I'm Ralph and today's video blog post, so season two, episode two, we're going to be looking at a bit of an overview of the designs that we did in episode one. So at the moment we're basically creating a range of leggings sewing patterns based on our new automated basic block, which is the leggings block. Um, yes, yeah, so make a few design derivatives that we can then obviously sell and host as sewing patterns on our site. So basically, last week we did a whole range of illustrations or designs based on our mood boards, and we were looking mainly at sort of like paneling. So very traditional, sort of like look about a uh, look at sorry a look at traditional legging styles. So lots of lots of uh, paneling on the body. So as you can see here, these are my illustrations that I did just using pencil and paper. And we use the Preta template template fashion illustrations essentially or fashion templates to allow us to draw on the body very, very quickly so we can actually get through our designs very efficiently. So all the, the idea was basically looking at different waist styles, paneling all over the body, using sort of like the lines of the body to create, let's say, interesting shapes that emphasize and enhance the female form. And I'm not going to go through these too much in detail because we've got the digitized versions of these and I'll show you those a little bit later. So as you can see, lots of paneling, some very simplistic concepts using sort of like the stocking suspenders, a little bit sort of like uh, some openings here at the waistbands. So once again, we have about eight or nine designs or illustrations that we've done by hand on our fashion templates. Now the reason why we do them by hand first of all is because you can essentially draw very, very quickly and very efficiently with a pencil on a fashion template. So all those ideas you have in your mind, you can get them onto paper very quickly. But then obviously you want to turn them into digital illustrations so you can then start to add color and textures and print and fabrics literally very, very quickly as well. So we're using two different techniques to create a very quick process. So once again, I did about 25 to 30, let's say, fashion illustrations. I'm not gonna show you these because some of them are pretty bad, as you most likely expect. We then chose eight or nine, let's say, finished illustrations. We then basically put them into Adobe Illustrator and digitized them. So using that fashion template, as you can see here, we then created the outline and then we drew in all of the various panels. Now these two don't match up, but you can kind of see the concept. Anything we drew here in pencil, we translated onto our, let's say, fashion illustration. And these are all fully fillable panels. And I'll show you that in Adobe Illustrator after this little explanation. Okay, so these are just simply the outline. So we're preparing our, let's say, designs in order to add color to these various panels. And as you can see here, we've got this fill. So this is a concept when it comes to, um, it's called power mesh. Power mesh is a fabric that is very, very highly elasticated, but it's almost like transparent. It has little tiny holes, a bit like air techs, where it can breathe. And it's used quite a lot in the leggings industry. And it just basically, so if you had this as a white and your power mesh was white, you would have two very different textures but they would still be the same color. So it's quite an interesting concept and we're gonna play with that quite a bit. Anyway, let's move on. So these are basically the templates or the designs, the outlines of the designs that we've created in Adobe Illustrator. There you go, ba -ba -ba -ba, as you can see, and we're playing around with these different waistlines, paneling, etc. But this gives you a bit more of a clearer idea when it comes to the illustrations. Also, this is really handy when it comes to presentation because it's a lot cleaner, there's no smudge lines, there's no rubber lines, and it's just very graphically beautiful. So once we have created our illustrations or our outlines of Adobe Illustrator, we then have the opportunity to start filling in the panels with colors, with fabric swatches, with whatever you want to really. And there's no reason why we can't simply copy and paste this outline a hundred times and change the colors a hundred times. So it just allows you to speed up your process very quickly. Um, yeah, so once again, okay, these two haven't been colored in, but this one, for example, has. Okay, so you can see we're using different colors. Once again, these are not the colors we're gonna be using for our finished project. This is just to show you, give you an idea of, look, how we're adding colors uh, to these panels to kind of bring these designs to life. Okay, so we're gonna be eventually designing into prints uh, using those different mood boards that we discussed in the last episode to start creating some really interesting concepts. But this is just a little bit more about paneling. They're quite extreme, but it's just here to give you a representation of what we can do when they're finally in Adobe Illustrator. We can start to add colors and prints. Okay, see? So I can create, you know, like maybe 20 different versions of these using different colors and prints, etc. Okay, so we're now in Adobe Illustrator, and as you can see, this is a digital version of uh, our leggings. I'm just going to start off, got quite a few here. So we've got all, I think, eight of them. So we have the chevron leggings, we have the crazy leggings, crossover waist leggings, simple leggings, suspender leggings, swimwear leggings, thigh sweep leggings, and the 50 stockings. 
OK, so let's just first start off and show you a little bit how these are actually dynamic. So over here on my Layers palette here, I'm just going to click on this little Layers. You can actually go to Window and then Find Layers here. Let's just open that up. So as you can see, we have a variety of different leggings. So here we have our templates. Now we first started off with the Preta Template template. We then also have the leggings outline. So this is essentially um, my layer that gives us all of the outlines. So for example, we have the seam details, we have the little sort of like highlights here that define the knee and sort of like the creases to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then we have the um, design details. So for example, these are all the little elements that go into actually making up my leggings block. And finally, we have base color. Okay. So basically, the reason why these are dynamic is because it allows me, with the small selection tool, I can actually select this panel here. I can go to my color palette and I can then change it to be blue, for example, just out of interest. I can do the same for this one as well. I can just go blue. So this allows me to change my ideas very, very quickly. I've also added groups. So for example, if I get my big selection tool and I click on this, oh, this isn't grouped. Hang on, let me just group them. Um, so if it's grouped, you can see that these two panels uh, appear at the same time. So I can just apply that change once and it applies it to both. Same with these. You see that these, y these panels here are all have been highlighted together because essentially they are the same panels on both the front and the back. Same with these ones as well. And we also have our base color. And these are locked. Let me just unlock all of these. So the base color, which is blue. So I can change these to be pretty much anything I want. And it will turn them into, see, I can then just maybe select this one. And we can make these ones perhaps the yellow again. We can then also change this top panel and make this also. Uh, that dark grey as well, same with this top panel here. So it allows me to change my designs very quickly and very effortlessly without having to do too much work, which is really handy when it comes to uh, creating a whole variety of these. Also what we can do is let's zoom out and let's just take this. In fact, let's create a whole series of artboards here. Let's just move it over here and I'm just going to create a whole series of these. And you know what? I've messed this up already. Let's go back. It's because I didn't unlock this layer here. Okay, so let's try that again. And once again, I'm going to give you a full tutorial on how to do all of this, how to build them from scratch, and to add all these panels and change the colors, etc. But for now, I just want to show you the versatility of this in Adobe Illustrator. So this is my designs, let's say. And I want to go for... So let's change these back to the cream. I quite like that concept. Let's also change the body back to the cream. And let's change this maybe so where is it? We want these little details. Let's zoom in a little bit. So let's just change this to cream as well. So this is one idea concept. Maybe I want these panels to all be cream. There we go. And maybe I want this to be, let's say, yellow. And this to be, I don't know, let's go for the cream. So you can see how we can create a range of different stockings or leggings, all based on the existing or original let's say block, but this saves us having to use pencil paper and color these up, which will take us ages. Okay, so let's just go back. Let's get rid of all of this. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to undo everything, go back to where it was. Okay, perfect. So it just shows you how easy it is to basically create a whole range of different concepts and designs using these panels and then grouping them which then allows you to change the colors pretty quickly. Also, what I've done is, um, let's go back to this block here, for example. As you can see in here, we have this beautiful little fill, which I've created. And this basically um, insinuates or highlights that we're going to be using um, power mesh, which was that material that I explained in the first part of this tutorial. And to do this, it's really simple. Um, so as you can see here, I've already got my little swatch. So if I wanted my body to be, let's say, uh, that textured mesh. Well, all I have to do is simply select the layer, and then I can simply just, with my dropper tool, my eyedropper tool, I just pick that up, and you can see the whole thing now is fully um, using that mesh. So once again, a really handy, useful way of creating 100 different designs and colors and adding prints and all kinds of things to create a range of different designs. In fact, let's go online, and let's just type in, let's go graphic print, for example, let's go images. Now I'm just going to pick anything. Obviously, I designed this myself, but I'm just going to grab something. Let's go for, oh, I don't know. What should we pick? Let's go for this. It's quite nuts, but should be fun. Maybe let's go for this instead. It's a fabric swatch. Let's go copy image. I'm then going to put it into my document just by copying and pasting. 
We're then going to reduce the size of that. Just reduce the size. And once again, don't worry about what I'm doing here. I'm going to give you a tutorial that shows you how to do all this. I'm just showing you the kind of concept very quickly in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to get this panel here. I'm just going to select this and go Control-7. OK, I won't do it for some reason. Let's just ungroup that. And there we go. That is my print. It's looking quite nuts here. And we can do the same again. Hang on. Let's just grab this. Let's paste it over to this side. Let's move it to the back. Let's take this panel and let's go 7. And we can move it across. So this is how we can start to add print and texture very, very quickly and very easily. OK? Anyway, so as I said, I'm going to do a tutorial that shows you how to do all of this and build these from scratch, which should be at the bottom of this post on the website. So if you're on YouTube, please follow the link in the description. It'll take you to the video blog post, and there you'll be able to find that illustration tutorial. Um, and we should also put it on YouTube as well. OK, so what is next? So you've obviously seen the design inspiration or creating the designs in Adobe Illustrator, which is fabulous. So next we want to start populating these designs with a bit of color and also uh, some print design. So in season two, episode one, you can see we came up with three different print inspiration boards, as you can see in front of me here. So we have the first, which is, I believe it was Hypershapes. So Hypershapes is all about creating really beautiful, um, let's say very simplistic graphical concepts using primary colors and pixels or very basic shapes to create these really complicated patterns. So that should be really quite interesting. We also have the neotropical. So let's say beautiful tropical plants, but then using sort of like painted effects to create these really, and bold colors to create these really beautiful summer prints. And finally, we have the um, hyper real inspiration, which is all about kind of like pulling together animal prints and bug colors and let's say uh, like butterfly patterns into this one beautiful sort of like collage that kind of creates this really beautiful, yeah, let's say print design concept. So once again, so the next episode, we're going to start developing these prints in Adobe Photoshop and creating them as full scale, repeatable prints we can then put onto fabric. And then when we have the fabric, we can then start putting our designs back into these, uh, let's say fashion illustrations and adding color and creating the finished product. And then we'll finally sample them. Anyway, uh, that's it for me. I'm kind of like waffing a little bit now. Hope you enjoyed this little, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little section and I will see you on episode three. Take care. Thank you.